If you wanted to earn as much as you could from playing a game, what kind of game would you make? Keep in mind the entire reason we're able to play and earn nowadays is because of the hottest trend of 2021, NFTs. How would you implement NFTs in your game? What platform would you release it on? These questions and more sat on the minds of Guild of Guardians developer, Immutable X. Hopefully, you don't think it's that easy to create a game for millions of players to enjoy. One where they truly own their own assets and can participate in an economy that feels true to life. You have to take into account many things from the tokenomics down to the core game mechanics and all the other icks in between. Before I get started, I want to preface everything with I am not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video is intended to be taken as financial advice. Guild of Guardians is a top-down action RPG built for mobile devices. It was inspired by games like Diablo and Dungeons and & Dragons and it's the first AAA RPG we've seen hit the NFT market. Each piece of loot you collect while exploring the rich world of dungeons and magic will truly be yours. As you may have guessed from the name, Guild of Guardians, this play and earn game will have mechanics that reward you more for participating in guilds and cooperative play. Whether you choose to navigate the game solo, or participate in the many guild features this game focuses on, you will always enjoy true ownership of your assets in this upcoming, highly anticipated, free to play RPG. Let's dive in. If you've ever used Ethereum, you are painfully aware of the major problems with the network, gas fees. If you don't know what a gas fee is, just know it's a fee that you have to pay for each transaction you make on the blockchain. Because Ethereum is so popular, gas fees can range from $20 all the way up to $200. Despite that, Ethereum is still the second most used blockchain in the world, second only to the big boy himself, Bitcoin. Now this is where Immutable X comes into play. Immutable X is a layer 2 marketplace that runs on top of Ethereum. Even though Immutable X runs on Ethereum, they are known as a Layer 2 for a reason. Layer 2 blockchain systems allow for you to interact on the Ethereum network as normal, but without paying the high gas fees. There are very few other Layer 2 solutions, but the most popular example I could give is Axie Infinity's Ronin Dex. Guild of Guardians is the first game developed and published by Immutable X a company mainly known for their housing of Gods Unchained and the future partnership with Alluvium and TikTok moments. Immutable X could have an entire video dedicated to it and I probably will do one in my CryptoMate Simple series. But just know Immutable X works on the Ethereum network and lets you avoid the high gas fees if a game is connected to their ecosystem. If you're interested in learning how to sign up through Immutable X and get started with Guild of Guardians, make sure to stick around as I go over that later in the video. Though Immutable is responsible for the marketing and publishing efforts, another company is doing all of the developer work for Guild of Guardians. Enter Stepico Games, a game development company based in Ukraine. The studio has a large team boasting over 150 skilled team members. They have been developing for over 7 years and have released over 25 games for which none I'm particularly familiar with if I'm being honest. Even with an extensive track record, Stepico Games has never created a game quite like Guild of Guardians. Though we will soon see how they manage with piecing together this beautiful looking game. Creating an RPG from scratch that properly utilizes NFTs to create a strong, healthy economy led Immutable X and Stepico Games to create an isometric, Diablo-style dungeon crawler with action RPG elements. You will create a team of four heroes ranging from common to legendary and send them through dungeons to collect loot, earn gems, and upgrade your heroes. You can only control one character at a time, while the rest of your team will be controlled by AI. Have fun roaming through dungeons, rolling, dodging, and special attacking your way through enemies in this upcoming mobile-only RPG game. Similar to Overwatch, each hero is unique and have their own special attacks and abilities. 
whether you choose human, elves, or orc characters, make sure to remember this game has a strategic element as you craft together the perfect group of heroes to master each dungeon and the enemies you face. Each player will start with common heroes. These heroes cannot be traded or sold. Thankfully, you will be able to earn more and more common heroes as you play. Gather enough heroes, find you a summoning shard, and you can merge your heroes into an upgraded one. This is one of many ways for free to play players to earn in the game. The upgraded hero will be a real NFT that you can sell or use throughout your explorations. The core of any good play and earn game is the economy. It is a complex structure of supply and demand that Guild of Guardians aims to master. To achieve this, they decided to do three main things. Allow players to be able to play the game for free and still earn, introduce the gem token to be used for utility and governance, and include the ability to merge and upgrade heroes. Let's take a brief look at how Guild of Guardians economy will set itself up for long-term sustainability. Speaking of economy, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube economy. It's completely free. Guild of Guardians will be introducing a token that, in this video, we will call the Gem Token. Only 65% of the token will be released to the public and you'll only be able to earn it by playing the game. This will create the first demand sync for the token. In addition, there will be no public token launch. This means no one can buy the token until the game is released. This will create a fair and equal opportunity for those participating in the economy. Unsolicited opinion, but I love tokens that have a lot of utility. The gem token has a few that we know of so far. For starters, every primary marketplace sale will have 20% of the sale paid for in gems and then sent to a rewards pool. That means if you buy an NFT drop from Immutable X for $100, on Immutable X's side, they will take $20 of that, convert it into gems, and have those gems sent out to the treasury address this is the same treasury or rewards pool that is handed out to those holding tokens and staking in the game. This is how their burning mechanic will work. In addition, a set number of percent of secondary marketplace sales will be used in the same way. This will be for any player to player transactions and will be paid for by Immutable X. And if you think that's the only utility for this token, you thought wrong. Gems will also play a vital role in crafting, or should I say guild crafting, in Guild of Guardians. We don't know much about how many gems it will take, but know you will have to play the game to get these gems and be involved with crafting, further strengthening the economy. The spirit of inclusivity shines through with Guild of Guardians as it aims to be something for everyone. There is no right or wrong way to play the game, and ultimately you should be able to pick it up and start having fun right away. That said, the game rewards those who choose to play and grow together. Imagine naming your game Guild of Guardians and not giving extra rewards and benefits to people in guilds. Another important piece of Guild of Guardians economy is their guild system. Anyone can join a guild, but to create one, you need to have a guild token. Sadly, all of these tokens have been sold on the primary market. If you want to grab one of these, you will have to go to Immutable X secondary market and buy one from a player, probably for way more than they bought it. These are so valuable because one of the few ways to earn in this game is in the form of crafting, or as Guild of Guardians calls it, guild crafting. I go over other benefits of being in a guild in another video on my channel so make sure to check that out after this one. Crafting is important because it is one of the only ways to produce NFT items that will help you throughout the game. Crafting materials will be a drop from dungeons and you will have to team up with a guild and contribute your crafting materials to craft blockchain items. Once the item is crafted, it is automatically sent to the market to be sold and once it sells, the money is divided between each of the people who contribute it based on how much they contributed. This is a super unique system that I think will evolve over time and be a core part of what makes Guild of Guardians successful. I'll have more in-depth videos on their guild system once we have more information, but I like to mention this little tidbit stated by the team over at Immutable X. They state that social cooperation is required, 
Players have to work together in order to maximize progression and profits. Specialization in part of the game and players will need to work together to progress. Trading with each other is a core component of Guild of Guardians, just like the real world economy. The last part of the economy will consist of various items you can get throughout the game and on the marketplace. Some of the items already listed publicly for sale by the immutable team include energy boosters and pets. We'll go over pets a little more when we have more information about them. As with most play and earn games, this one will also have an energy system. Energy boosters simply give you a permanent boost in energy as long as you hold the NFT item in your wallet. Pretty cool, right? Now let's cover how to get started in the game. Head over to the Guild of Guardians website and connect your wallet. Once connected, click the Mint tab and head over to Immutable X. Welcome to the Immutable Marketplace. If your wallet isn't connected here, update it in the top right. After you have connected your wallet, you can buy Ethereum straight on the site via MoonPay. You can also transfer Ethereum over from your primary Ethereum wallet. I'm in the United States and I had no issues getting Ethereum through MoonPay. Now that you have Ethereum, you can go through the list and choose which heroes you want. Remember that each hero has a different rarity and also has different synergy based off of who they're playing with, so remember to choose wisely. I also have a video where I go over exactly how the game will be played and what are some of the abilities that each hero has, so make sure to check that video out as well. Once you purchase an item, you can go to your inventory to see them. The filtering could be a little bit better here, but you'll have to scroll down to find Guild of Guardians in the list to filter it. Now you're all ready to go for when the game releases. Guild of Guardians is set to release sometime quarter one of 2022. Do you have any heroes? Leave a comment below if you do and tell me which ones you got and why you chose them. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe as it's absolutely free and helps this channel out tremendously. Oh, and check out these cool Guild of Guardian videos. I love you guys and as always, keep going. <laughs>